Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel. Great to be back on another map making video today guys. Um, great man, if this is your first time on the channel, a uh, warm welcome to you. Uh, great to have you here. I hope you stay around, stick around and um, do remember to like and subscribe. Very important, then uh, you can st stay with us and get updated uh, uh, of all our new content and videos. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Great guys, so what we're having uh, a look at today is the fruit or the foliage. How to get rid of foliage on your map that you don't want there. If you have a look at this map, I'm busy converting this map from FS19, it's one of my South African maps. You'll see that once I've placed the um, the fruit, fruit density file over, when I, once I brought it over, it messed up all my fruits or, or the weeds and stuff and it put some horrible things in here all this green stuff that that's there now to take that out of the map will be a terrible job to go all over the place and remove all that little little bits and pieces everywhere so I'm going to show you how to easily get rid of that it's a bit of a, a to and a fro process but if you follow the instructions it it should it should work out all for good and you can only do them one at a time. I found that it's best to do it one at a time. Um, as you can see, there is a type and there is a type. So it's two different types of uh, um, stuff. So let's get rid of that. Let's say this big green ones for now first. Now, unfortunately, in the editor, you cannot remove this um, like with the ground textures. It would have been nice if they had a, a limit to texture instead a limit to layer or, or lim limit to whatever here by the by the foliage they have a limit to texture but it's only got the grounds in it would have been nice if you could um, select here at the layer state a, 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 f a channel that will um, that it will uh, sort of stick to you know and then you can just wipe out the whole map and get rid of all of it once together but I haven't found a limit to texture feature that can do that yeah um it's just crazy that they didn't think of that or, or maybe i'm just crazy i don't know <laughs> i haven't found a way to do that but this is the only way that i know um or, or figured out how to get rid of stuff that you don't want on the map regarding foliage ground textures is easy you can take the ground textures here uh, the texture layer gravel dust and you can limit it to whatever you want and then just paint the whole map and and it will convert it for you you know so that's simple and easy but why they didn't do it with the foliage layers oh, i've got no idea <laughs> all right so anyways enough chatting all the foliage on the map your fruits that you plant the weed uh the weeds the um the different types of bushes and um, things they are all saved in one file called it is here by your in your map it's all saved in one file called fruits uh, density map uh, density map fruits um, I've already converted mine I'll show you now what's that about um, but it's actually all of them uh, um, are included in that one file so th it's it's very difficult to separate it once it's in there <laughs> so that's what we're gonna have a look at today so now two things that we quickly need to or, or three things that you need uh, in order to, to, to do this process is some software the very first one I'm just going to open here it's on the Giants developer network I'll put put a link to this in the description if you don't have a profile with them you're going to have to register and just make one it's free and then go to the downloads and there's a little thing here called GRLE converter just download that, extract it into a folder somewhere where you can use it, and that's the first thing. The next one is GIMP. That's a photo or a editing program for, for photos. Very handy program. There's a, a link for that. <coughs> it will all be in the description. And then the last one, obviously, Notepad++. It's a, it's a text editor to edit all your text files. Very, very handy little program. Okay, so if you don't have any of those, just grab the links in my video description and download them. And then you'll be in on par with what uh, what I've got here by me. Now, by default, you'll see my GDM files is got this little um, 
icon from a notepad plus plus because i by accident selected that to always open it and there's no way i can go back to um because there's no program to open the actual gdm file so they should be white on yours <laughs> so don't do what i do anyway so what you do in in order to to start the whole process is we want to convert this gdm into something that we can work with so you have your uh, GRLE converter it's a whole bunch of files just extract them into a folder like I said and then you'll see there's a convert.cmd if you don't see the extensions just go view and uh, show and then file name extensions and it will show you if you don't have Windows 11 it, it just click on view and there will be ticks one of them is file name extensions you just tick that and it will show you the file name extensions so now the next thing to do is to grab that fruit density file have the two windows open like I have here drag it over and hover it on with the holding your mouse in hover it over the convert and then just drop it on that and you'll see immediately it says saving density fruit and then press any key and it will close again and then you'll notice right next to your density map fruit GDM it made a PNG file that we can work with so now what you do is delete the original you don't want that hanging around there it's going to get confusing if you don't delete it so now what we want to do is open sorry we want to open that in GIMP sorry right click um, open with and then GIMP and now as simple as Pi you will see um, if you hold control and you scroll your mouse you can you can actually zoom in and out now you can see this this little things that we want to get rid of but before I can do that now I'm just going to close yeah, I have to close um, before I can do that I want to put myself a reference of what I want to convert that into so we want to convert that ugly stuff into something I'm going to use um, the default map thing called Mido is one of the one of the um, the weeds or, or stuff you can place but before we do that we want to go f right click on your f uh, i3d the map i3d find it in your map folder and then you're going to go um, just right click on it and open with um, you have to select it first sorry right click open with and then notepad plus plus this is where notepad plus plus comes into working in notepad plus plus in your i3d you're going to find the file says that says density map fruits you'll see it's got a gdm extension i've already renamed mine you have to rename it to png so you just double click on it and type png and then save it once you've saved it don't close it because we're going to um, use it again now you can open your map now we're using that PNG file to open the map and then once the map is open we are going to paint ourselves a reference spot on the map to to use as a converting uh, um, fruit I'll show you now what happens just wait for this thing to open oh, I worked it slow today great oh yeah you can see nicely now it's that horrible green stuff that we want to get rid of so what we do now is i'm going to go to my foliage paint mode um, make the brush nice and big select meadow that i want to use harvest ready and i'm just going to paint a spot here next to them of uh, of meadow did it now paint yes it did all right there it is so now you can see there's the ones i want to convert and there's that all right so now you just save your uh, file unfortunately now I'm gonna have to redo the whole process because um, I've started the video at the wrong place <laughs> I wanted to show you this whole process but anyway you get my drift now I go back into your um, folder now I can delete this density map because it's useless at the moment it's created a new GDM for me so I take that convert it like so I should have that done that from the start guys sorry I hope I'm not confusing you guys now so now I delete the original and now we are back at where we where we started a few minutes ago we open with GIMP and now we can um, just change it 
And I, there you'll see the spot that I've made. So I'm going to use control and roll my mouse wheel to zoom into the spot. And you'll immediately see um, this fat line is the, um, is the red that I want to get rid of first. You'll do one at a time, guys. You can't do all of them, unfortunately. Uh, it, it, the, the whole process get confused when you when you do do it um, more than one at a time. So, once you've at the spot where you want to be, you go to Colors, select Map, and then Color Exchange. It's going to open this window. Now, on the on the first one is the From color. You're going to click on this little eyedropper. So now you're going to select this ugly thing that we want to get rid of. Um, just going to zoom in nice. If you if you see the block like mine, my block uh, um, covers the whole thing. That's all right. If you don't see it covers the whole thing, just click on the color itself. It will open another window and it will give you the eyedropper here, which is a more um, more uh, finer one. So you can actually go for pixels. So I think. From the start, just go with that. It will be much better. Click on select there. You'll see all that ugly things is now gone black. Just click OK. Zoom out. You see, that's what we want. Now all the ugly ones is, has, been, has been selected. Now we're going to zoom into this where we want to convert it to. And you're going to just click, do the same drill on that. Click there. Click the eyedropper. Click on this spot that we want to convert it into and immediately you'll see now they've been converted into Mido. So you click OK, click OK and don't do anything else. Just go File, uh, Export As. It will by default have you have the same directory with the same name. So all you're going to do is export. You say Res, Replace and in this one just look at my options, make sure they are all the same, leave it automatic pixel format and click export. Just like that and then you wait for it to finish. Once that is done, we can close that. One thing I must say, my, my um, PNGs open always in the RGB color 8-bit format. If yours doesn't open in that, what you can do before you do any changes on it, go to image, go to mode, make sure it's RGB, precision, 8-bit integer, and perceptual gamma is RGB. Just have that selected and it will automatically convert your image to that format. Then do the changes and then do the save. I forgot to mention that before we started. Now we can close and just say discard changes. It It's already saved and overwritten this one. Um, so that's fine. Now we're going to go open map. Just verify that our things are missing or, or, or being replaced. And if we're happy with that, the whole process is fine. We should we should see um, those fat lines is now gone. And like I say, you can do this one at a time. Because I have now got a reference spot, that big round one with Mido. Um, you can put anything in there that you want to convert that type of fruit towards you know so that will be fine and there you go let's have a look I just want to zoom out a bit most of it has been removed so I'm very happy with that so when you when you when you're happy with that change that you've done one at a time like I say you can now save and just repeat the whole process all over but just remember to um, to delete so now we're going to save and now it's going to recreate your original GDM so original but it's going to recreate you a GDM you'll see there it is um, to, uh, uh, using that this one you can delete this one again and then just convert this one the new one back to um, a fruit density fruit like so and then space there to get rid of that delete the original again and work on this one 
for the next for the next uh, bunch of things you want to get rid of and that if you follow that process you should get rid of all the stuff that you don't don't want in your map so i'm just going to go control zoom i'll do one more just to make sure that we are getting rid of all these things you see there is some some of these red things that we can still get rid of these does look the same to me these are different yeah okay so what we're going to do now i just want to get in here close go colors map map color exchange let's get this out of the way select that little point dropper key like so when they go black you know it's all right click ok on the bottom one eyedropper click our meadow click ok click ok and then file export as export replace rinse and repeat guys save background export and then once we're done with that you can quickly open and have a look like i say do one at a time guys i've seen um if you do more than one it messes up and it gets all mushy and crazy and do please before you do anything make a backup of your whole map <laughs> not only the, the the um the gdm file like i've got the backup of my whole map here at the bottom as well as the gdm the original uh, because I don't want to lose my changes that I've now made uh, just for this video's sake. So, um, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> Good stuff. Great. So now we should now see the changes. Like so. There you go. You see all those are now converted to, to Mido. There they are. They're now different different color and different thing. And now I can move on to the rest here. These other green ones that I don't want. Um, so the same process save it will create you a new GDM once you save all right go back into data there you'll see now there's a new GDM click on that delete drag this over to convert it will make you another one and the process starts over now once you once you are happy with with your um with your map and everything has been removed that you don't like you can do the last cycle uh save your uh, uh, map and it will create you the lost or, or the new gdm file and then, then the last thing you need to do is just come back to your i3d edit with or open with notepad and then say yes to refresh it and then just change this back to gdm on the fruits uh, the density map fruits one like that and then save and your map is then ready to roll and then if everything if you've done everything right like i've done now on these um i'm going to just show you boop, move that in there that's my one that i've, I've finished uh, um, with this process i've removed all the unwanted stuff from the map and i'll just quickly show you how that looks it's a it's a time consuming thing but it saves you hours of editing work um to go nitty nitty gritty pick out of that thing um every little one one by one you know so yeah that's the way to go guys um it really makes life easy and it's just a way to replace the density uh the fruits or or the, or the things there you go sorry that was a bit fast and that's what it looks like I've removed all of that unwanted stuff the felt is now nice and clean and I can now add other stuff to it flowers and whatever the way I want it great well I hope it's been insightful guys I hope it's been um, something good for you to use and um, yeah remember to like and subscribe and do share and uh, thanks a big thanks to my uh, um, spawn uh, my supporters and um, bless you guys I'll catch you on the next one take care man